model HFD, the finger drums. The story of this module is that uh, I was sitting in, in Berlin last year on the super booth and uh, looking at all these fantastic systems. And I saw that uh, some people patched together a lot of modules just to get some percussion out of it. And as much as I uh, think that is a really cool thing to do, it really takes so much real estate. So we wanted to make something that is small, something that you can build yourself, and something that gives you some percussion in, uh, in a nice format. So we looked at what we could do, and um, there's really some funny, interesting things in the 80s been done already in the whole drum thing. So we took a trip down uh, memory lane and uh, looked into Japanese things and came up with a little reincarnation of the good old Boss DR55. We have a bass drum, the air drum, hi-hat, and a rim shot. On the 55, you also had these drums, but there was no possibility to adjust them. So we looked into some modifications, if we can also implement something so you can uh, yeah, dial a little bit around with the sound. So I'm driving it right now with the trommel machine in Euclidean mode, just to get a couple of drums going. And we always have a tone control and a decay control. And because it's fully analog, um, the signal runs through the pods and they influence each other. So there is no super perfect setting. It just has, has everything from really snappy sounds to uh, resonating ones. So if you find one, just go to the next. So that will be the snare. So tone control changes the pitch a bit. And DK control is the resonant part. Same thing either clean or resonating. And the hi-hat has two switches, which are basically capacitor arrays. So these different sounds. You probably have seen the lights the light switches that we implemented, because the interesting part is that you can have like a bass sound going on, like a bass rhythm, like this one. Maybe let's add a little bit of this. And then do one of the drums yourself. And the last one that's missing is Rimshot. So. On the right side, there's the outputs. Each drum has their own output. And then we have a joint one where all four are present. <laughs> yeah, and that's our little, little drum box. <laughs> 